Okay, so I want to make this video as basically like a starting point. So I know you both have previous market experience, but going forward with these sessions, what I would like to do is to strip everything back to its core, get rid of all the noise and create a new lens to view the market on. So obviously everything is going on and there's so much, a million ways to analyze a chart, but simple rules are what's most effective. <laughs> so I've categorized it into these five stages. So pump, dump. Obviously we can build on that and go into more detail, but I really, really, really want the entire market perspective. What I view it as is just pump, dump. And by viewing it like that, it just gets rid of so much ambiguity, so much, so much confusion, just don't get lost in the noise, everything. So just think what goes up must come down. We're looking for that pump and we want to trade back down in the dump. So as he said, you could categorize it as one, two. So you got pump and two dump. That's the initial way to look at this. So this is what I want the core to be, but then we build on that then depending on which stage we're at or which yeah, which which kind of market behavior we're experiencing. So and the five stages are I've got listed here. Pump, peak formation, dump, false advertisement, and then dump 2.0. So let me go through those now. So start off with our actually I'm gonna get this one. Our initial pump. So this is in one pump. Then after we had the pump, well, the next market conditions or the next stage we're looking for is the peak formation. And the peak formation is literally what it says, it's the peak being formed. And that always comes in the form of an A top or a V top. So there we go. So we're looking for a big impulsive move up followed by a big impulsive move down. This is basically signifying that this is them trapping the volume. So everybody was buying, buying, buying. They've now quickly reversed it hard. Everybody who was buying here now is now underwater. Um, but obviously there's variations to this theme. So I'm not gonna cover in too much detail, but there's typically about four different variations that we can get. So it could just be a straight up A top, B top reversal. We could get a half a Batman one where they put in the big formation and then consolidate inside. You can also get a double top. So that can be a shortened double top where it's coming down, or that can be an extended double top where it's going up. It doesn't matter. Again, we're talking about behaviors and stages, not picture perfect patterns. So track volume, peak formation in place. Then we get the dump initial dump, so the dump 1.0. So right, two, peak formation, yeah. All right, this is stage three, dump. So me personally, I was trying to focus on trading this initial dump, so this stage here. So after we've put in the peak formation, this initial dump, this move is extremely, it's an extremely lucrative move. It moves fast, it moves hard. And when you when you catch it right, it is an absolute banger. However, there is a added risk that comes to taking dump 1.0 as opposed to taking dump 2.0. And that is basically because on dump 1.0, the high is locked in, but there can be variations to the theme. So when we're here, there's still a chance, get a different color. This is our high, say we're at double zeros there. 
there's still a chance that this can come up. Boop, 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 boop. Take out that before doing the dump. So, in order to remove city losses or just keep ourselves as safe as possible, what we want to do is, or what I am now doing, is waiting for this stage of the market to place my trades, or at least this stage where I load the boat. This is where I go in heavy, so on dump 2.0. So, pump. Starts off the move, peak formation put in place, A top, volume is now trapped, stage three, dump fast and hard. So this has gone up for days, 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 maybe consolidated for a bit. This is moving fast and hard to either a liquidity point, a demand zone, round numbers, whatever it is, it's dumping fast and hard to a target. Um, obviously, this is a range expansion of this initial range there. So if we were to extrapolate that point out there to that point that out there, don't want to cover that now, but stage four then, false advertisement. So a hard rule or a rule of thumb, or whatever you want to call it, like a, a law of the markets is if price is going to drop, it must first look like it's about to rise. So we have to get a false advertisement. There has to be false sentiment in the market because why? If they need to move the market down, they need volume to the upside to use this order flow as liquidity to actually sponsor that move down. So we know that when a stop loss is triggered, it doesn't just close the trade, it actually gets in in the opposite direction. So when you're in a buy and that gets taken out, that buy is then turned into a sell. So they need buyers to move the market down. So that's why stage four then is false advertisement. And that will typically come, boom, in the form of the psychological rule of three. So we might get three pushes up, three peaks, three sessions, three days, whatever it is, we will typically get rule of three going up and this will likely come to the lows here. And then yeah, so that is stage four. Stage four, false adverse. So now it's in this stage here that we are starting to lick our lips and this is where we're getting ready to get into our trades. So while everybody else, so everyone's buying here then they get trapped, so then price goes down. So now everyone who was buying is now selling again with the big impulses move up. So what do they do? What does the algorithm do? It starts showing longer sentiment. So. Everyone's now switched to the downside, all their biases are now short, thanks to this initial dump. But then we start to get price action that's looking like it's going up. We're getting higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. What happens then? Everybody starts buying again, just in time for final stage, which is dump 2.0. This is still our target. Boom. And that is where we want to be in the market. So, stage five, dump 2.0. And the beautiful thing about this is, by categorizing these stages, we, we remove all amb ambiguity. We're not wondering what's going on. So, we know which stage we're at in the market, if that makes sense, because here, if we're using a, I don't know, structure-based strategy. Market structure has been broken, we've validated this low, we're now short. Then we start getting higher highs, higher lows, structure is now switched to the upside, so everyone's then buying, or even if your structure was still to the downside, you're getting shit scared because this keeps making higher highs. So the more this comes up, the more you're getting scared. Whereas by applying this perspective to the markets, the more this comes up, the more juicier our trade gets because we're actually getting a better entry. This is our target. This hasn't changed. This will never change. This price has to return to this point here. This is remaining there. So, of course, this is our demand zone. This is our initial pump. There's liquidity below there. Double zeros there. This is our target. Whatever you want to use for your target, any of those things. This an origin of 
the move which sponsored this whole rise is our target. So the further that we actually move up, the more better our risk reward gets. The further we can actually catch this, the more room to scale in on the way down we have. So when everyone else is getting scared, we're actually getting gassed. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, if I didn't go into too much of a tangent, but yeah, this perception of it, just learning the these stages and then just looking at the chart. So pull it up on the 15 minutes and then zoom out for the week. You would see the peaks and the troughs and you can go out on the daily and then you see the exact same thing. Price will boom, come to the top of the move, create a peak, come back down to the bottom, have a reaction, maybe go back up to the top here. And that's the way the whole market moves. But then it's moving then throughout these these stages here. So what we want to eventually going forward do is be able to identify which stage are we at. And then just when we're in this false advertisement stage, marking off our highs and lows, waiting for price to take it out, and then just tanking that back down. So yeah, hopefully that helped.